Hello, this is Rip with IMSI Design, and today, today I'm going to be taking a first look at Turbo Review. Turbo Review is a CAD viewing and markup application for the iOS. So I'm going to start out by hitting the button for Turbo Review. It should open up, and then in the top right you'll see a play button. That's to open up drawing, so I can first open up to your documents folder and uh, so I can go ahead and pick out a drawing. I'll go ahead and pick out this 3D floor plan. I'll hit the play button and Turbo Review will open up. Now when you notice uh, first looking at this we've got several uh, toolbars. On the left side we have the markup toolbars and about Midway through the, uh, actually at the bottom of the markup toolbar, you'll see there's a place to toggle from markup to a measurement or dimension toolbar. And below that, you'll have undo and properties. Up in the top left, you'll see we have the, uh, well, we have go here to open up other drawings. Uh, we have the help and we have a full screen mode. And on the right side we have views and settings. So I can go into uh, the top one gives you uh, all the different spaces so if you have uh, paper spaces and layouts and perspectives in the uh, in the CAD file you'll be able to see them there. Below that is views so different camera views. This is where you can turn perspective on and off. Below that we've got layers. You can turn on and off different layers. Below that we have visual styles. Now this is where it gets a little bit fun. I can change it to an let's change it to an X-ray. So I can kind of see through the house here. I can go back in here. I can change the X-ray factor. I can change the background color. I can go into like a rendered mode. If this had color in it, we could see it there. Now I can, make, I can go into settings. Now these two settings is 2D, 3D navigation mode. If, you, if that's on, it'll automatically detect whether the drawing's 2D or 3D. Uh, and free transform. This is how you can uh, rotate by two fingers, uh, constrain the orbit. So let's say I wanted to just view this drawing in 2D. I could go back to my views, go to a top view, then I could go back into these settings, turn both of these off, and then it kind of hands around just like you'd expect a 2D drawing to do. Now this is also useful if you have erroneous 3D information in a 2D drawing. Uh, you'll want to go in and turn these settings off. So if something ends up on a different work plane or has a different height or for some reason, uh, that's when that comes into play as well. That takes a snapshot, saves it to your photos. That's the camera button on the right. I've got an email button. So I can send it as either a Turbo Apps file, which can be read by any tur Turbo Apps family application. That will include any markups in our own file format, or the markups only in a DWG. Uh, we'll get back more to that later. And then, of course, there's a save, which saves uh, it as a uh, Turbo Apps uh, file format. All right, and that's about it for right now. 